Juno, who is on leave for military service, reluctantly visits his abusive father in the hospital. Flashbacks reveal the history of his father's mistreatment of Juno's mother. The reunion between Juno and his father is strained, with Juno expressing his contempt by telling his father that he'll only find amusement in his death. That night, deserter Kaido escapes and Juno, along with Han, is assigned the task of tracking him down. Their search takes them to unexpected places, including the girls-only section. Despite facing challenges together, Chino and Han persist in their mission, uncovering the underlying reasons for the increasing desertions from the barracks. Despite the revelations, their dedication to finding Kaidu remains steadfast, as it is a fundamental part of their duty. They concentrate their efforts, narrowing down potential locations where Kaidu might be hiding. Chuno, desperate to raise funds for his ailing grandmother's medical needs and admission to a sanatorium, contemplates drastic measures. The harsh reality of the sacrifices these men make during mandatory military training becomes painfully apparent. Chuno, deeply moved by the situation, takes a significant step by reaching out to his mother to check on her well-being. However, their moment is abruptly interrupted by breaking news. Subpong has deserted the army. The complexities of duty, loyalty, and personal connections continue to shape their challenging journey. Subpong, overwhelmed and frustrated, begins to lash out and lose his temper. In a moment of complete breakdown after enduring relentless abuse, Subpong snaps and violently attacks an antagonizing soldier, using a helmet to repeatedly strike the soldier and leaving him severely injured and bloody. After the violent incident, Subpong walks away, leaving shockwaves reverberating throughout the barracks. With 540 days remaining until discharge time, the commander decides to conduct a full-scale search, but emphasizes the need for discretion to prevent the press from learning about the situation. Captain Lim and Biong Gu are tasked with relying on the RDP duo once again to locate Subpong and bring him back. While Chuno stays behind to interrogate the injured soldier, Subpong assaults Biong Gu, prompting Han to join him in questioning Subpong's friends and family. The situation escalates when Subpong uploads a new webtoon file online, depicting a grim and ominous foreshadowing of his intentions for revenge. Armed with a knife and rope, Subpong plans to make his discharging sergeant, who harbors a deep hatred towards him, pay for his mistreatment. Despite the tense circumstances, Chuno manages to catch up to Subpong in an attempt to prevent the dangerous situation from escalating further. The confrontation outside the buses results in Changong one of the Buzin guys, being hit by a bus. Meanwhile, Han pursues Suk Bong to a movie theater, where Suk Bong brandishes a knife and forces a corporal to stand still. The tense situation teeters on the edge as Chuno locates Huang and tries to persuade him to leave, warning him of Suk Bong's threat. However, Huang dismisses the warning and shuts the door on Chuno. Suk Bong then tases Chuno and leaves him handcuffed to a railing, setting his sights on Huang for revenge. Although Huang initially gains the upper hand against Subpong, he is visibly shaken. Subpong, noticing Huang's vulnerability, slashes him with a knife before fleeing, laughing hysterically. Chuno and Han eventually find Subpong downstairs and apprehend him, placing him in handcuffs. It's difficult to witness how far Subpong has fallen as he's taken away in handcuffs. Baong Gu talks to Subpong about the destructive nature of revenge. Subpong is deeply affected by Baong Gu's words stirring a sense of rage within him. He lashes out at others for their indifference to the abuse and bullying in the dormitory. Feeling pushed to the edge, Sukbong manages to break free from his handcuffs. His anger leads to a car crash in a tunnel, resulting in Byonggu getting injured and Juno unconscious. Sukbong then returns to confront Huang, escalating the situation into a hostile encounter. The commander mobilizes forces with live ammunition for a full-scale assault. However, Jisoo disagrees with the disproportionate plan and teams up with Baong Gu Chuno and Han to pursue and safely apprehend Subbong. Meanwhile, Wang regains consciousness to find Subbong seeking revenge, prompting Detective Ned to intervene. Despite their efforts, Subbong escapes with a flushed face. Inside the tunnels, a tense standoff ensues as a bloodied Huang pleads for forgiveness from Subbong. The stakes are high and tragedy binds their fates as Subbong's precarious situation hangs in the balance. 